used to it. <laughs> yeah. I always have to check. You're still not gonna hear that. Let's switch <laughs> over. All right. So I have a surprise. Yeah, I don't know. It's not a surprise. It's just something I picked at the last minute. Matt's got a surprise. It's such a surprise. So, um, we never use my Sega Saturn, <laughs> and we are. And you the, mentioned we, as in the world, America. Are you handing this to me? Yeah, in a second. After I start it up. After I start it, yup. Like I have it velcroed to your TV stand. I have to. I don't want it in the way. Uh, what's happening? What's know, happening? Man. I don't know. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> You're getting like real antsy. I just can't get out of your way. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Um, so we're playing Sonic Jam Sonic on the Jam. on the Sega Saturn. Sega Jammer. Yes. Uh, and what we're gonna play is a little game that you've never played called Sonic Jam. Sonic Three. All right, well, what's Sonic? I played Sonic Three. You said you didn't beat Sonic 3. No, I've never beat it. Oh, we're going to beat it. And I didn't have it. Well, we're going to beat it, and I have it. I don't understand what Sonic Jam is. It's just the Sonic. It's, it's a, so, the cool thing about this is it has a 3D world or whatever, which is just like a little gallery, but uh, these are not emulated. These are actual ports of the Sonic game to the Sega Saturn hardware. I know that means a lot to you. So much. I know. So, do you want to play Sonic 3 and Nunkles? Or just know. regular Sonic 3? Oh, just regular Sonic 3. All right. I don't need to complicate things by bringing Knuckles into this. Game start. Normal. What's What's the difference between normal and original? I don't know. Seems like original should be normal because no signal. The reason why it keeps going blue screen or whatever yeah. is because the resolution keeps changing from 480i to 240p. Why does it keep doing that? Uh, because games back in the day, when you have it on a CRT, it doesn't matter. Should I just do this? Uh, pick a new one. Didn't want to lose your zone one save. Oh one. yeah, I'm very concerned about it. So, uh, you can't hear me much yet, but I'm going to show Tim something. You guys won't be able to see it. But, we're playing on a Sega Saturn. Check this out. He's just talking to me. You guys I'm just, can't, you I guys, am just talking to Tim. You guys can't check it out. So I didn't realize that Knuckles was in Sonic 3. So this must have come out after Sonic and Knuckles? Yes. Pretty cool, right? It looks much worse. Looks worse? I think it looks better. Than on this TV? Than on the, yeah, this one looks better. It's like in its original... And to, so what I'm doing yeah, is... Yeah, but it looks, looks worse. It does not look worse. I think it looks better. The color looks worse. It's like fuzzy. No, I disagree. Um, you are wrong, sir. No. So what I'm showing Tim is that I have my Sega Saturn outputting over RGB, which gives it a really crisp signal. And then I also have it split between my upscaler on the HDTV that goes to the stream that yeah, we're so watching now. It just now. looks a lot crisper on the on your big TV. But I also have it going to a CRT oh. over RGB, and it right. looks super good. And it has all the scan lines. It's proper. Like, this is what was intended to look like. Oh, I'm not disputing that. I'm not disputing that it's what it looked like originally. It just doesn't look as good. I I disagree. I think it looks better. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, I mean, you think it looks better just because it, it looks older. No, I think it, it looks better because it was the way that, like, the picture's displayed on a CRT. Oh. It's not done by pixels, it's done by scan lines. I think it looks better that way. It it softens the art automatically. Even though it's over RGB and it's cleaner than a composite signal, um, I still think it looks better. I think that it's more vibrant. I like it. That's why See, I have this... I think it's much less vibrant. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and disagree. It looks like pale... Muted, like. Not uh, I'm going to tweet a picture on our account just to show what we're looking at. Um, you're not going to see the full detail, but just so you're not in the dark. I, this is my obsession. I don't know. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> no, it's... This is like I've worked oh, on this for a while. I really like that. it. That was a mistake. All right. Oh, we're fine. Use photo, uh, H, B, and CRT. So look for that tweet if you want to know what the hell we're talking about. It's at, at Tim and Matt Play. Sorry, sorry, Twitter. Sorry, Twitter, for all the traffic. 
We're, you're going to be shut down soon. You're going to have to close down your servers. <laughs> yeah, of course. We pull in all right. uh, a lot of different viewers oh, from all over the world, these, really. These idiots. All right. So I'm settled in. I'm I'm muted again. I'm not excited. What are you excited about? I'm not. I'm not excited about anything. <laughs> uh, it's uh, like it's a cool nostalgia piece. Yes, I think that's mostly what it is. I mean, there's more to it than that, technically, but uh, it is mostly like there's no reason I need to have this second TV in here. That's big, bulky. Mess. <laughs> that's only for your Sega Saturn. Well, it also hooks up to the N64, uh, and it actually. I think it looks better with the Sega Saturn than the N64. Uh, the N64 is complicated. See, when I'm look, I was just looking at the CRT for a while playing. And yeah. When I look back at this, it just looks so much. It's so easier to look at. It's so. Cleaner, I mean, it's, it's also nicer. a much bigger screen. Well, but the. the you're right. You're right. It's, it's similar. Because I. Bigger, the though. reason why there's a box on the stream, by the way, and I could stretch it, but um, if you're watching this in 1080 on a 1080 monitor, it should be a pixel, an integer perfect scale of the 240p signal coming out. Uh, I'm positive no, I'm positive long, nobody cares. Did you see how long those points took to go up on there? I did. So many points. I saw all the points. It's very good. So many points. Um, but that's why there's a border around what you see. But the, the one benefit too that over CRT, or CRT over HD is the response time on a CRT is much, much faster. There's an input latency with the upscaler and the HDTV. So, I do notice that yes. a little bit. You can actually kind of notice, like see it. It's very yeah. faint, but if you jump, it's going to come up on the CRT first. Yes. All in all, though, this game is running a little slow. On purpose. Well, like it's, I mean, it, it, it's, it's got slowdown. It's catching. Mm -hmm. It's like lagging. Yes, on purpose. Why is that on purpose? Because the Sega Saturn hardware did that, so they programmed the, Se or I mean, I'm sorry, the Sega Genesis hardware did that, so they programmed it into the port as well. Oh, I. Well, I guess I don't. I never had Sonic Three on the Sega Genesis. Yeah, but it didn't do that with the other Sonic games. No, uh, Sonic Three's got more going on than the rest of them. Yeah, I don't know if I like it as much. I mean, I've played it before. I've played like the first few stages at least. And uh, I don't remember much about it, but so far I'm not like loving it. Oh, this fire guy. Also, can adjust the color on this. It does seem a little washed out. Uh, rude. Rude, dude. Flipping rude boys. Push, push. Yeah, if I had like a, a test pattern or something, I would adjust the colors on my CRT. That should, that's a little better. I mean, that could be it too. The colors are yeah. a little yellow. Uh, but yeah, this game, um, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, there's a couple Michael Jackson songs in it. I do remember hearing about that. Yeah, he. it's not under his name. Right. Um, <laughs> Miguel Jacques song. I don't really know why he did that. Um, but he definitely did. Just seems like it can't go as fast. You know? It, go should fast. Be, it should be the same speed. Maybe there's just more obstacles. I, in that's the way. what I mean. Like, yeah. there, you know, it doesn't run like a bobsled run. It is not like a, blo a blob strip. Blob, I can't, blob I can't talk! Uh, uh, my favorite sport is bobsledding. <laughs> But yeah, it's a uh, it's a fun game. It's hard to play it. It's to fill in your Sonic gaps. Yeah, like I said, I, I have played it, never beat it because I couldn't get past like a specific part where I had to like bounce tails up or something. Like my small child brain couldn't get over the physics of it. But now you have a full large brain. My brain is so big, you guys. <laughs> so f fully developed into a man size. A man brain. brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let it land, you idiot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. But yeah, I'm I'm actually glad this is the first time we've used the Sega Saturn on stream to play a Genesis game. <laughs> but uh, the Sega Saturn is an oft maligned system, and it is one of my favorite. That was easy to get to. Sure was. All right. Get those blue spurs. Ugh. We have uh, one viewer. Yes! It's us. 
I don't think it's true that it, it's us. Oh, now we have two. But it is us. We get that one viewer because the video preview counts as the one viewer. Well, because sometimes we've had zero. Uh, and how can that be true? I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, this game's fun. I, I'm i excited that we're Maybe playing. Maybe Twitch it. automatically subtracts one every time we make a bad joke. Oh, we would have us. negative subscribers. Okay, where? Where's the other blue ball? There's 88 more. <laughs> there yeah. they are. Damn. Yeah, it's interesting. There is just the tiniest bit of latency difference between the TVs. Yeah, it's very disorienting to uh, have both. Do you want me to turn this one off? I, well, I'm looking at that one right now. Okay. So not at this moment. <laughs> I think I'll be okay. Okay. If you leave them both on. Yeah. There is just like it. You can see it. If you, uh, I didn't if it's like a like, magic painting, you have to right. undo and screw I'm up your eyes. I'm just looking between the two. I'm looking at the wall. <laughs> my peripherals are taking care of everything. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was, that lag almost cost me. This is life and death. Death and life. Life and death. Life and death. <laughs> Jonathan death. Jonathan death. Oh, man, where is this other blue one? There are 40 more blue ones. Damson. Ooh, this beer is uh, it's mighty hoppy. This game seems um, in, like the music is slower than this, than the Sonic and Knuckles version of this. I mean, you can play this game with uh, Sonic I, I and Knuckles attached. Yeah, there they are. I'm not gonna get all the rings. Yeah. I knew it when I was getting those around that. Uh, whatever, that I wasn't going to get the rings, because the ring is going to show up right here. Yeah, they are. And I'm not going to be able to get them. Nuh-uh. Dumb. Yeah, so this game attaches to Sonic and Knuckles, and you can play it mm -hmm. Sonic 3 and... Has Knuckles. Knuckles. That's what I named our stream, by the way, Tim and Matt and Knuckles. <laughs> Tim and Matt and Knuckles, even though Knuckles is not appearing in this film. Yeah, he's in the game. No Knuckles were harmed they were. in the making of this stream. So, if you play this game with the attached Sonic and Knuckles, they like put in the Sonic and Knuckles stages into the progression of stages. Oh, that's cool. That's and cool. you can be Super Sonic at the end if you get all the Chaos Emeralds. Right. Oh, that put my Fire Shield out. That's... Ah, pretty cool, right? I mean, not cool because you watch Fire Shield, but like physics. But I'll take this Bubble Shield. The worst ranked shield. It's the worst, except for water levels. Oh. Uh, I get cocky. See, that's what happens with the Bubble Shield. I bubble, I bubble slam down. Uh, do you ever get like a panic attack when you hear that? If you don't, oh my gosh! <laughs> if you don't get a panic attack when you hear that, then there's something wrong with you. I agree. That's like when anything stressful happens in my life. That's the music that goes <laughs> dun, dun, off. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, let's just show the viewers. The viewers, what? Oh, you want to just sit there in case they don't know what the sound is. That's true. The the bell's tolling. <laughs> for whom? Boom, boom. It tolls boom, boom. for me. Gotta wait for it. Five. Oh, it's not doing it. There it goes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate oh, this so look, much. We each have our own. Tail, <laughs> Tails had his own numbers. That's why I didn't hear it, because you don't get that music for Tails, <laughs> just for you. Oh, it, it, uh, it just gives me the heebs and the jeebs like the old style alarm clocks. Uh, so how about a uh, present giant, president giant brain uh, saying like, oh, we should totally pay those that that affair off in cash. And they're like, no, you idiot. We have to do it through a shell corporation. That will do it. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, but um, did you not hear the tape? I didn't listen to the tape. No. Oh, okay. So Michael Cohen uh, his longtime lawyer and yes. fixer. Oh, so I know about the tape. I okay. Was, oh. Well, just for the the idiot roaming audience. Um, yeah, he recorded a bunch of meetings with Donald Trump, and the one that got released to CNN has Donald Trump saying like, "Oh, we <laughs> yeah. need to take care of this," and then he's like, "Oh, we'll just create a show corporation." He's like, "Cash," and they're like, "No, not cash. We'll do it through the corporation." Who said that, Michael? Michael Cohen. Cohen. And then Trump in it, he was having like two or three conversations and he also yelled like coke <laughs> like, <laughs> he's such a fat piece of shit he i hate really him really is um so the reason why this shield's the best also watch this okay watch when he shoots 
Boink. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of cool. I didn't know it did that. Boink. Most of the enemy, like, fire, if they're shooting stuff, won't always bounce off of me. So the story behind this game, right, is, like, all of the animals, like, got turned into robots. Yes, but they're just trapped inside the yeah. robots. <laughs> Why didn't he just create <laughs> robots? <laughs> I know. He wanted to trap the animals inside of the robots, um... So that when you pop the robots, <laughs> yeah. the animals can emerge on skates. I don't... Ugh. I mean, they don't even... Like like a bird came out of that rhinoceros. Like, they didn't even try to get the right animal. What are you, what are you doing here, Matt? What are you, what are you trying to do? <laughs> trying to ruin the Robotnik. <laughs> I'm trying to oh gosh, go I, fast. I remember that part. See, like, you can't... You can't run through these levels. There's no, like... They're... They're way more layered. I will say that. Hey, it's, it's way more platforming. Who likes those All platforming? Right. Bonus stage! Alright. Oh, weird. Not not done this this kind before. Uh, do you have to get all the letters? No, it's just they're, each one is a different type. That's a blue shield, I don't want it. It's a bubble shield. You're like running out of uh, hit em ups. Oh, there's rings. <laughs> Yep, yep. That was neat. This episode also adds context to Sonic Mania because we saw the first level of this game, which we it's played. True, in Sonic that's true. That's true. Yes. Which, by the way, I went and played by my lonesome after Tim Man play. Sad. <laughs> um, Here's like the flying battery. But Ray the Squirrel, his his suit, uh, it plays exactly like Mario, and it's so fun. You could like skip whole levels just going like broom, oh. broom, broom. I lost my shield. I thought the fire wouldn't hurt me. No, those bombs got Turns you. out, yes. Damn. Ooh, sirens. Yes. Turns out I should've just kept running ahead yeah. of them. You should've kept going fast. I lost my shield and every ring in my body. Oh man, now you gotta defeat him. Man, he really softened me up with that thing. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Oh, yeah, Tails, Tails. get him. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> he got... He only, he only has like, yeah, I was gonna say like one or two more hits left. <laughs> he just, Tails just wrecked him. I don't like the floating downward ones. Yeah. It's kinda dumb. You saved all those chickens though. So many chickens? <laughs> the blue chickens and the white chickens. Look at all those chickens. I love that vine. I just Look love at vine. all those chickens. Here comes Knuckles, spoil the fun. Like, whose side uh, do you want to Ha 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 ha. It's like, it's get off my island. Hydrosity. Hy Hydrosity. <laughs> uh, that's one of the best gags from Megamind. <laughs> Matrocity! I yeah. still haven't seen Megamind. <laughs> Megamind's a great, it's a, it's a solid movie. That's what she said, but again, I can't trust you on movies. Kaboing? Yes. What's a bad movie to you? Um, okay, so there are <laughs> movies that I think are fine. But there's no bad movies. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't say I've, I've uh, I have any like, oh, I hate that movie. That's like, so weird. There are movies that I think like aren't as good, or movies that like people rave so about. So, like, is one. there a is there a separation for you between not enjoying the movie and knowing the movie's a bad movie and still enjoying it? Um, well, sure, I know that there are movies that are like, oh, this is a bad movie, but it's like fun to watch, like Death Race two thousand, or um, obviously people watch The Room. And, I've okay. never seen it, but that's like a good movie. But there are movies that like, like everyone loves the Royal Tenenbaums, and I think it's good. I love the Royal Tenenbaums. But, I'm one of those people. You know, I don't think it's as good as The Life Aquatic or um, even like Rushmore, Bottle Rocket. Rushmore is my favorite Wes Anderson movie, so that's where that ranks. And Rushmore is good. It's you know not as good as Life Aquatic, but that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't. Uh, I just like. I just like movies, huh? I mean, I like movies too, but I, there are movies I don't like. Those are the ones that I'm I I'm sure think there are, are movies I don't like, and they're probably the movies that I haven't watched because I'm not interested in them. <laughs> the only movie I don't like is the ones I haven't watched. <laughs> the ones that I haven't watched. <laughs> That's true, I guess. <laughs> Never look a gift movie in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> because then you might not like it. I just think it's fascinating. Like, what's a bad movie to you? What's a movie that you think is just bad and you don't like it? Um, the Mario Brothers movie. 
Oh, I love that I know movie. you do. It's, oh, come on, that movie's it's great. A, it's a fun, campy movie, but I don't think it's a good movie. No. I mean, it's like, if you're talking about, oh, is it technically a good movie? No, it's not, but it's, uh, it's a fun movie. That's what I just said. <laughs> like, like, uh, George of the Jungle. That one I don't even like <laughs> as a fun movie. That one, if you want to, that's a bad movie. <laughs> All around. <laughs> the Mask. The Mask is a good movie. <laughs> Um, it doesn't hurt that I was just talking about The Mask and Ace Ventura 1 yesterday with Mike and uh, everybody over See, when house. I was younger, I thought those movies were super dumb. Really? Yeah. So I was the opposite. So, like, we were talking about how I watched that movie about 150 times as a kid <laughs> uh, and Ace Ventura 1. I just kept watching the VHS over and over and over. Jim Carrey was like a god to me. Wheel. <laughs> okay, um. Oh yeah, oh, that's all I had in here? Stupid. Alright, alright, alright. All right. But yeah, we were also talking about how that movie has plenty of... Um, uh, Tails gonna die. Sexual humor things that I did not pick up at, as a kid. Like the, uh... Um, I don't even remember. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> See, this game is full of these, like... And the other games had these puzzly rooms, too, but they just... So would you say like, this is a bad game? Freaking annoying. No, it's not a bad game. <laughs> like, I mean, this is just why I um, never finished it. Yeah. So I played it for, like, a week at my grandparents' house. Uh, like, with the Knuckles, like, snap-on, uh, this game is pretty long. Definitely the longest Sonic 2D oh, game. Oh, yeah. Well, especially if they put the levels in, like you said. Did you ever play Sonic CD? No. Um, that one was made in tandem with Sonic 2, but by different people. Yeah. So the original creator of Sonic made Sonic 2, and then uh, a separate team made Sonic CD for the Mega CD, or the Sega CD uh -huh. add-on. Um, it plays very differently. And, like, there's no there's no Spin Dash, because Spin Dash was introduced in Sonic 2. Sonic 2. Um, and you have to, there's, like, a past-future mechanic where, like, you hit a thing that'll say, like, past, and you have to keep running at, like, uh, back to the future speeds. Like, you have to keep going fast, and you'll get transported. Weird. So you have to fix things in the past so the future is good. Okay. You don't have to. It was like Braid. Uh, you don't have to do that. It's just, like, if you want the good ending, you have to fix all the things in the past for each level. That's so weird. Um, and then the future is, like, bright after that. Like, it's not a dystopia. <laughs> oh, that's really strange. Yeah. So it was like, like I said, it's like this experimental Sonic. It's good. It's just like a different Sonic game. It's still like the same 2D run fast gameplay. Right. Uh, so my brother has this like Raspberry Pi emulator mm -hmm. arcade setup that his buddy made him. The Retro Pi. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what. That's like the OS, but, probably. Um, it's got the Sega, uh, Sega shoot Game Gear Sonic uh -huh. games. So I played it, but it's like on a large screen. It's so weird because that, it's like so zoomed in. And it's so goofy to play. Oh my gosh. So, um, I'm, I'm just laying the factoids today. The Sega Game Gear uses the exact same internal hardware as a Sega Master System. Okay. Which is the system that came before the Genesis. Right, right, right. right. Um, and so they actually made an adapter where you could screw it on the back and play Master System games in the, in Game, the Gear. Game Gear. But the Game Gear games, like the Sonic ones that they made for Game Gear and Master System, because the screen is so tiny, they like took the screen and like zoomed it in. So like Sonic is like super big on the Game Gear one. Yeah, yeah, for the yeah. Master System, it looks more like he's in proportions to this. It's so strange. Oh, it's, what? It's so hard to- Since when can you not go back in a Sonic game? Apparently in Sonic 3. It's Bush League. That's because the boss is right here. Bush. Yeah. This is uh, amateur hour. I still think it looks much better on the CRT. Well, somebody lost his rings. It looks. I like the way it looks on the HGTV. It's like the pixels. Tails, pull there. your weight. But yeah, the CRT is where it's at. Yeah. Tails. Man, you're being washing machine. I am. Ah. <laughs> uh. Nice. Yeah. Good it. job. Let it fall. Who cares? I like the little posy strikes. Those ruby red slippers. 
in some important texts. No, it's just Wish trying to get me to buy some stuff. Ah, uh, Wish stuff falls apart. I bought a bunch of stuff on Wish. I'm aware. And I have returned all of it. Well, actually, I don't return it. You just ask for a refund and they give it to you. And they say, don't don't send the thing It's because it's all like cheap Chinese crap that it's falls not, apart it's immediately. It's not worth the money to, to ship it Yeah. Back. So have you got anything of quality through them so i got a couple sweatshirts that actually like they fit pretty good they're thin uh-huh uh, and you can tell the stitching is not great but they um they're not bad one of them uh fits mary not me <laughs> oh my god no no no! what just happened oh no <laughs> i don't know what i spawned the wall halfway up he jumped off uh but like so i ordered a suit you know the 20 dollar suit from wish and uh boy is it twenty dollars? I was surprised because it actually fit, but the uh, material is so cheap and the stitching is so poorly done, and uh, the, none of the pockets are real. They're all fake pockets. Like, that's what happened. Ah, uh, I tried. That's, I was, they're fake pockets. Yeah, the, it's not like a real like suit. the suit before you rip open the pocket. Right. That's so but weird. there's no pocket underneath. That sucks. So, I mean, it was $20, and I got my money back. Uh, but I think I'm going to just donate to, like, the the theater department, because it'd be fine on stage. Sure. It looks like a suit. Yeah, I guess that'd be good for, like, uh, throwaway occasions. Yeah. Um, what else? So, the stuff that's good from there are, like, um, like, I got a tie. It's fine. And I got, um, what else? There was something else that I got that was fine. I ordered a couple, like, kids things, like a kid shirt. Kids? Um, like, for your your boys? Yeah, I got uh, from a couple of shirts, and we got, like, a onesie for a friend of ours having a kid. I haven't gotten it yet, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. So stuff that you can get from there, I, I would say, you know, obviously don't try to order any high-end electronics. I'm not gonna order anything from there. But uh, you can get some decent stuff. Just you know, the clothes are. Gonna I mean, be cheap it's and just. Thin. I mean, it's the same as ordering on Alibaba. Like, just be very yes. aware. The great thing about it though is that they just refund the money, your money automatically. Same with Alibaba. Yeah. I was disappointed because I ordered a couple shirts that were cool. They have like um, different color cuffs on the sleeves and the call or whatever so you look like gordon gecko but i got like the biggest size they have because it's like the chinese sizes and it's still like a size and a half too small <laughs> you're you're we're all big big dumb americans big dumb americans so um i still have them. i might give them to somebody at work or something but um or it'll be my yellow polka dot bikini on the wall like <laughs> someday but the, the hoodie I got, it's decent. It's, you know, it's not, you can tell it's made like crap, but it's, um, it's decent. I'll tell you what, um, summer's fine. It's fine. Everybody goes gaga over it. It's fine. Oh, fall's where it's at. Fall, fall is where it's at. I want to be wearing a hoodie right now. Oh, I really dunked that up. You did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you did such a poor job. Fall and winter. I'm into winter. I'm not into winter, but fall, the three seconds of fall we get. Yes. We got robbed last year. We, there was no fall. We surely did. It doesn't help, too, that, like, we're working adults, and so we spend our whole fall indoors. Not only indoors, in a basement. Well, that's you. Yeah, that's me. No, man, that ain't me. Uh, it's true, but even, even that, like, we did not get a fall last year. We had, like, four seconds of fall. Yeah, it was short. Uh, I still got to do my, like, fall camping trip. No, we didn't get to do it because it was rainy. Yeah. So we had to do a spring camping trip. The eight seasons of the Midwest. It's like... It's mud season. The mud, <laughs> mud season, third mud. Or third winter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> LOL, winter's back. Yoke's yeah. on you. <laughs> oh, oh, the water back. Um, so, I had a co-worker move here from... To, to take the job and uh not used to the midwest weather and i was like dude it's gonna Sonic, get what are you gonna fall off of right there what is there for oh that's just bad <laughs> programming yeah. or I, not bad programming it's just like it's tough because it's tile based right okay 
This game is actually really well programmed. Um, they do really good jobs with like the color. So Sega Genesis can only ex only display 16 colors at a time on screen. And so, what idiot. So like the the variation that they have in detail mm -hmm. with only 16 colors, it looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's more colors than I can display. <laughs> Well, the, the Super Nintendo had like 256 colors on screen at a time, so it was like, that was what they were competing against. So the Genesis be was? Yeah. Yeah. So they had to be creative with it. Well, and the Genesis came out in 1989. Uh-huh. Uh, the Super Nintendo came out in like 1992. Right. So they had like years to get better tech. So I guess Genesis was kind of in between Nintendo and... Yeah, Nintendo so like, it's, it's weird because the... Oh, no. The Super Nintendo was, a tough one. it had different graphics modes. That's why it could do like scrolling and scaling and stuff. Uh -huh. It had those backgrounds. But the Genesis's processor was actually faster. So there's certain things that the Genesis was more capable at because it just had a faster clocked processor than mm -hmm. the Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo was clocked really slow, which is why you saw more RPGs on it. And like games like Sonic run uh, really well on Ugh, Knuckles, my god. Uh, that antagonist. What an anti-hero. Oh, uh, where you which family are you going to see? I'm going to see Antagonist. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that was dumb. Don't be so dumb. It was dumb and stupid and I hate it. So the Mega Man X collection came out and I bought it and Mega it's, Man is first. It's it's not good. <laughs> they did a pretty bad job. Well, there's a lot of um, lag and latency issues and button mispresses in it right now. Oh. So I gotta wait for the the fix, the patch. Oh, my fire shield. Yeah, because you're in the water. God, I didn't even think about it. This game has a lot of water in it, it seems. Hydrocity. Oh yeah, this is the one. See, you didn't know this boss. Oh, right. It was the reverse of this. You were in there and Robotnik yeah. was in the thing. Get him, Tails. In Sonic Mania. That is correct. That's why that boss was cool, but it was lost on you. So Am I supposed to like jump up on those things? When he does the little uh, twirlicane, um, you are going to, yeah. it's like gonna be staying there right, for a little right, bit and you can right. jump onto like a platform. And I can get blasted up by those mines apparently. Yeah. I just did it on a whim. So you could jump up on that. Right here on these things. But they probably hurt me also. If you're right next to them, you have to make sure you're you get the the splash sploosh. Good. Oh yeah. Oh what? No. Oh. So many rings. Boom. So many rings. Jump on that. Gosh. Almost. <laughs> Nailed it. Kablam. Sorry, Robotnik. Robotnik. Oh, Eggman. Look at those water bunnies. Uh uh uh. uh, -uh. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> he was falling off. Better hold on Marble to that Oh, uh, yeah, I remember this zone. Yeah, marble. Oh, rip. Rip and peace. Didn't remember it enough, I guess. Sonic 1 also has a marble whatever. It sure does! With lava. <gasps> what? Lava? What just happened? I was in the game! When you die in the game, you die in real life. That's how Sonic works. <laughs> show, show, show. Ugh, those guys. Idiot. The diggingest dogs. Man. Man is what I'm saying. I have so much... Oh. It's 9.30? What the... I have so much to do before tomorrow. Why? Uh, well, I'm, I'm going back... Those? I'm going to my parents' house tomorrow for the weekend. Okay. Um, which means I gotta get everything that I could have done on the weekend done now. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Not great. I wish I didn't have to work. That takes up a lot of time. Work, yeah. Do you have any idea how I could become independently wealthy? Work. 
Oh, Worked damn. a whole bunch and then you die. Oh, fuck. That doesn't sound fun. Oh, you mean materially wealthy. <laughs> oh, can I just get regular wealthy from working a whole bunch and then to, die? <laughs> you have to win ca uh, capitalism. Oh, yeah. That's the game I don't necessarily want to win. You have to exploit the proletariat. No, the bourgeois. The bourgeoisie. The bourgeois proletariat. The bougie. They're out there. The bougie proletariat. So bougie. <laughs> Let's just be bougie and buy lettuce. <laughs> Diet lettuce. Overheard at the farmer's market uh, a couple weeks ago. That's... What? This girl's like, let's just be bougie and, like, buy lettuce. That is a really bad statement. <laughs> <laughs> Only the bourgeoisie can... It kind of reminds me of that God. Parks and Rec episode where they're like, oh uh, you've God. had... You've heard of almond milk. You've heard of soy milk. But this is all natural, organic beef milk. <laughs> beef milk. <laughs> and Ron's like, it's just milk. <laughs> Uh, no, Ron, it's not just milk. I love calling it beef milk. <laughs> <laughs> I got it at food and stuff. Which is Menards. Ugh, it totally is Menards. <laughs> Alright, what the heck? What am I supposed to do here? What are you, a post? You have to kill the thing. Smash oh. it. See? Oh, what? You have to hit his little head jewel. I didn't like that. His head jewel? <laughs> <laughs> head jewel, that's what it is. <laughs> Sounds like you're saying module, but for heads. Module? It's my head module. Oh, my module. Head, my head jewel. No, like a jewel, like yeah, the things like that a, the kids smoke. A jewel of the head. Yeah, the vape thing. It's my favorite movie. Jewel of the head. <laughs> Old module. <laughs> oh my god. Christ I keep forgetting. Oh my god. Jiminy Christmas. Well. No good, man. No good. Ugh. Jesus H. Crikers. Oh, heck yeah. Uh -oh. Why'd the grass <laughs> stop me in my tracks? It's a rough grass patch. Someone needs to mow the lawn. Yeah, maybe you should mow the lawn. Rain's coming. I hate Woo. mowing the lawn. Redemption! Oh. Get the blues. I've got the sphere blues. Oh, I don't want to get those yet. Do you want to get all the rings too? Yeah. I like the Halloween ones. Uh, like, when it's you, when like you touch the spheres, Kind of sounds like a Pac-Man eating something. Or like Mario's horse. Mario's horse? Yeah, Yoshi, Mario's horse. Oh, Yoshi, yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I know I'm not a Nintendo boy, but... <laughs> what is Mario's horse? Yeah, he rides on his horse. Yeah, the CRT is much faster. It is. It's got very low latency. But it's really, it's difficult for me to switch over to it. In the mid? Yeah. I'm over there now. <laughs> I'm over there. I pushed my persona with my brain muscles. <laughs> On your brain grapes? Gross. <laughs> Alright, that didn't do anything. Big stupid idiot. Come on, large brain. Must save the brain. Oh. I don't like that lag. Alright, now I gotta find those ones I skipped over. Oh, you did it perfect. Yeah, but I still haven't got the emerald. There they are. Oh, because you can't get rings from them. Right. Well. Ooh, this is a trick save one. I skipped over that one. Got it. Boom! Good job. Got it. God, Ian. Also, the, the Chaos Emeralds look terrible. Look at that. Looks terrible. They're flashing. Yeah, but... Why are they flashing? I don't know. How many are there? Eight? Seven. I think there's seven. There were six in Sonic 1, and then the seventh one was 
introducing Sonic Inside 2. Inside you the whole time. And then you got to be Super Sonic. No Super Sonic in Sonic 1, you just no, get like not a even, thumbs up. Not even a spin dash. No, no spin dash either. And you're, there's definitely a su Super Sonic in this. But, you know, guys like me, we had to make do without the spin dash. We just had to make do with what we had. Guys like you. Um, oh, I like did not have a second. You Genesis. soft kids in these, these spin dash days. I was not a second dad. I was a Nintendo boy. Nintendo boy. Alright. How far do I have to go before that thing opens back up? There was, so, um, <sighs> I had to, I had braces for a while. Brace face! Uh, it was the worst. I hated them. I had and braces. They, were, they were painful. I had braces, uh, pretty much all of junior high. Uh, yeah, me too. The like best age all, for braces. All of junior high, plus the first half of my freshman year of high school. It's when students are the most confident in themselves and can handle having a uh, bunch of braces. At least everybody else was, like, weird looking and had braces, oh, too. Yeah. Um, but the reason I think I chose my orthodontist, like, I'm sure he was good uh, in reviews or whatever, but he had a Sega Genesis in the lobby that That's he set up sweet. with, like, 15 games nice. that he could go through. So I chose my orthodontist because he was the orthodontist. Oh yeah, well you grew up in a much smaller space. Well, that's true, but he was an Avon. There's probably more than one in Avon. He was just the one, I don't know. I was up in northwest what portion the... of the region that we live in. Dink just happened. Oh, there it is. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You don't need to spin dash on that. You can just like start running on it. Well, that would have been good. Do I need to use it to break that thing on there? I don't know. Uh, uh, come back. I mean, oh, jeez. I've got so many lives, though. Look at that. Yeah, so if you go the other direction, it'll also go the other direction. Ooh, great. I didn't lose any rings. Yeah, because you just lost the spin power. Just jerked me off of it. Okay. I can so do this. You're gonna make me whack a guy off a guy and whack off a guy. <laughs> I should never reach around to you guys. <laughs> it's down here. Magic. Probably just death. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. I get halfway down and die. Oh, jeez. There was. There was death. Jeebs. Ask Jeebs. How's that guy doing? He's gone. <laughs> Rip Jeebs. <laughs> he lost his job. <laughs> You didn't buttle very good. No. Oh my god! This is the balloons all over again. Is it time for it to be over? Yeah, take that, you idiot. Watch out for the sharp ones. Where's he coming? 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 Get that giant what is this? The mine, spooky mine zone from Sonic 2? Nailed it. Crushed it. Whatever it's called. Landed it. Oh, good thanks, job, Tails. Tails. Tails had me a hello. <laughs> yes! That was just act one, oh my god. The thing is too with these later games, like, I can run through Sonic 1 in 45 minutes. Oh yeah, these were much longer. But look at how much stuff is going on. It's a very stuff going on game. <laughs> Lord, beer me strength. <laughs> hey, can you beer me that strength? <laughs> hey, Lord. <laughs> can you. Ah, oh, so quickly. Is he just gonna, like, ruin my stuff? Just gonna wreck your shit. Too many mother uckers fucking with my shit. What was- what? Look, the ground is deforming. <laughs> if this was Vangers, that would stay that way the rest of the game. It's never gonna be Vangers. Just saying. Did you ever play the follow-up to Vangers? You mean the prequel? Yeah. Uh, I have attempted it. It's, it's no good. No, have you? No, I just- it's It rough. looks like a totally different game. It is, it's, it's an RTS. Yeah. And it is a hard as balls RTS. Really? Because Vangers is really welcoming and easy. Well, so it's not confusing to play. Uh, I just found it very difficult because the game mechanics are very different. 
Yeah, it's, um, yeah, the, it's the first hard. game's a car game, and the second one is an RTS. Well, no, I mean from normal RTSs. So, like, normal RTSs is like you build your base, you get your army, you go attack the other army. Yes. For their base. So this one, um, it's similar. Like, you, you're still building a base, whatever, but... Um, what is it called? It's called Perimeter. So part of the deal is you can only build your base on land that you've sort of claimed. And you do that by setting up these perimeter things. Kind of sounds like playing Zerg in StarCraft. Yes, a it's bit. similar to that. Oh, I just dunked up that whole. This is stupid. You lost. It's fine. Oh, no, you didn't. Um, but the problem is, for some of it, you have to like build the fences way off in the distance, and you have to build your perimeter or whatever is all the way over to it. So, when I was playing, I got very um, bogged down really quick. And I. It's just really difficult to balance your energy production as you're building these perimeter things everywhere. Well, I'm sorry. So yeah, it was difficult, and I uh, it didn't help that it was made so long ago that you know if you so like I loved RTS games when I was a kid, and I played yeah like RTS, Command and Conquer. Primarily, those were the games I played on the computer. Or Command and Conquer. I um, played just the most amount of StarCraft. I played so much StarCraft. I did play some StarCraft, but I just got swamped online. So oh I, yeah, you know, yeah for sure. God, can't I could not. Oh, I just got complete. I, I played like Stomp the Comp sort of games a lot, or like Twenty Minutes No Rush. Yeah, I completely annihilated every time I played. I played with friends over modem, like not uh -huh. on BattleNet, yep, yep, like yep, modem yep. to modem. Yep, little LAN party. Uh, like you'd have to like, call the house of that person. <laughs> oh, it was like a literal modem gotcha. to modem. So it'd be like, uh, my friend's calling, don't pick up the phone, the computer's gonna pick up the phone, I'm gonna yeah, play no, StarCraft. I, I never did that. Um, I would play Command & Conquer 3 with my roommates in college over LAN. Mm -hmm. So, like, but once you play more modern RTS games like that, it's really hard to go to an old one from, yes. like, the 90s or, like, the early 2000s where the graphics are hard to look at, it's slow, it's clunky... It's like, after I played Civ 5, I was like, oh, I'll fire up Civ 3. Yeah, like, it, oh, it was so hard to play. Like, it's so non-intuitive, and nothing is... is well, like, yeah, that's the niceties that you come with. You, that exactly. comes with, like, the, the newer gameplay. So I think if I had played it when it came out, I, you know, I would have been a little more successful. Sure. But I think I just gave up. <laughs> I was like, eh, this isn't that fun, uh, and it's kind of confusing. And I didn't have, like, a game manual, like, nothing to help me, so... Which um, I think that what you ran into when playing Banjo is you didn't have anything. I didn't have anything. Like, I mean, I guess I could... They had the digital manual and everything. I could yeah, have read but, through that, yeah, but... Bruh. I I actually did start watching some of the early episodes the other day. They're uh, good. Uh, they're okay. Um, we uh, were definitely so, stiffer. Yes, for sure. Those early ones, but... I felt like the pressure of, like, oh, I gotta be funny, and it's like... <laughs> no. Yeah, we don't give a shit yeah. about that anymore. <laughs> uh, this... Show has become oh, a can't. lot more enjoyable now that I don't have to edit it. <laughs> oh, I bet, yeah. Which oh, is why I keep automating little things about the show. That's why I get excited. I'm like, oh, one less thing I have to take care of. <laughs> yeah, because you did have to do a lot of editing on those. Yeah, ones. Um, especially because even then, like, we were using a crappy little like three dollar computer microphone. Yep. It had a ton of noise. I had to turn up the gain like crazy. Um, so I had to do a bunch of audio post-production, which is fine. We didn't know how long it was gonna last. We didn't want to spend any money. Right. Um, so like that was good. And then we both recorded at low resolutions on our PCs. Yep. Before we we didn't even play live. Which I think was fine for that game. Yes. For that game. Yes. And I uh, don't necessarily think it would it would be bad for other games, but this this uh, is better. Yes, I couldn't agree more. And I'm gonna keep honing in on this as like a good solution. But I I uh, don't want to go entirely away from um, us both playing at the same time. No, it just so happens these games are single player. But I agree, we should. Yeah. That's why I think that Portal would be a good game. Portal would be a. Good I just game. have to go buy it. It's like not expensive. Uh, I mean, I have it, but Portal Two. But I mean, if we're gonna play on the same screen, yeah. Uh, the Xbox version or PS3 version. Oh uh, sure. But that game's really fun. And it's it's been a long time since I played Portal 2 co-op. I beat it with my cousin, uh, like when it first came out. <laughs> I played with our mutual best friend, Will Hughes. 
Yes. <laughs> First and last name. <laughs> yeah, you want to go in? <laughs> like, uh, full full details? <laughs> no, not... No, I no, just mean, good. like, giving his first name, last oh, name, yeah. and, like, location. Yeah, but, um, we played through it, yeah. I don't know, I think we got to the very, yeah, we got to the very end. I played, it was a very unique setup, and I don't think you can do it anymore, maybe I'm wrong. Um, my cousin was playing on his PS3, Yeah. and I was playing on PC, and for whatever reason, like, that game allowed you to play PC and PS3 co-op, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, whenever things are cross-platform, it's really nice. It was a very early instance of that, because it's still pretty rare these days, but it was very rare. Well, then. yeah, I mean, look at, uh, what, the soccer Fortnite. car game. Uh, that you can play cross-platform. They just don't have a buddy list, I think, between the two that you uh, can share. They are going to. Fortnite is cross-platform, except for PS4. Yeah, I would uh, like to get into Fortnite. I just... I know there's a mobile version, I'm just not... I haven't checked nah, it out. Nah, I don't know if it's for Android phones, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it, maybe there is. All the kids talk about the Fortnite. It's a really fun game. Even Mike likes it, and Mike hates 3D so games. So, uh, Isles of Nine is out now. I don't know what that is. It's a game I kickstarted two years ago. It, it, it was announced before Fortnite was announced. Okay. Um, it's a, like, 100-player... Oh, Battle Royale Last Man game. Standing, Battle Royale. It's got the, like, shrinking map size, like... Battle Royale genre. It's just, uh... It was one of the first ones to be announced. It was on Kickstarter. And Fortnite has since beaten them to the punch. And I don't know that it's gonna be as big as... I mean, Fortnite's huge. Well, it was PUBG and then Fortnite. Like, P PUBG was huge. Yes. And it's been bleeding players. Uh, they just announced that Epic, the people who make the Unreal Engine as mm -hmm. well as Fortnite... Eight, that company is worth eight billion dollars now because of Fortnite. That's crazy. I mean, I'm not surprised. So this game, Isles of Nine, I haven't played it yet. I have it. I got the key from, you know, uh, Kickstarter. So I'm planning. Oops. Oh, oh he's got me. Feels conscious. Planning on uh, playing it a bit next week. It's all time. But um, well, soon you'll have a new computer to play everything. Exactly. On. Right. Because I don't know if my computer can handle it. Well, I'm dead. Yeah, the the nice thing about Fortnite is it's actually not very resource intensive. Like, you can crank it down. and mm -hmm. I mean, it plays on the Switch. It plays on phones. Like, it scales right. really well. And that's something I think that is a reason why it's been so successful. Is it's I so agree. accessible. I mean, it helps to be the people who make the engine for the game, too. So yeah. you can tweak, like, whatever settings you need to. And as with everything, it helps to be, like, the first big one out. And they weren't the first big one. PUBG was. Well, sir, PUBG. But like you said, it's the same... Well, it's not the same people, is it? No. Yeah. PUBG uses... It's like they were ex-modders of HVZ, and then they moved on to make their own standalone game. But Fortnite just did it, like, so right. much better than they did. Uh-huh. It's nice that Tails keeps picking me up. Yeah. I guess nice he wouldn't drop me so much, though. Oops. I don't know how he picked you up when he died. <laughs> I sacrificed him. It was for the greater good. What? Like... You just keep getting smashed. The tough thing about this boss is that when you lose your rings, they're gone. You can't pick them back up. Yeah. Because they fall off the map. Where are we at on time? Uh, we are at, uh, 58 minutes. Maybe after this boss. The boss? Good place to stop. Yeah, I think so. So I'm interested to see how that game turns out. The updates all look really good. The gameplay looks really good. It looks really, like, clean. Those games just live and die by, nice. uh, active community. Exactly. And so, you know, my, my instinct is, since Fortnite is so cross-platform, since it's so ubiquitous, I, I don't know that many other games have a, have a chance if they're just on yep. one platform. Because I think it's just on Steam, and it has a community because of all the, like, beta and whatever, and pre, the, the backers, the free stuff and the backers, but I don't know that it's going to be as widespread just because of the fact that it would be hard to be as widespread. 
as important as right now. Yeah, I mean, the night they were smart, and I, I don't know why Overwatch hasn't done this. I'm sure there's technical reasons or whatever, but like being on the Switch, that's a huge user base. Yeah. And that just lends itself to to uh, casual mm -hmm. gaming, and like that's what a lot of a lot like of in person into that squads now. too. Like you can take your Switch wherever. Yeah. And you can play a multiplayer game in squads. Because I don't always want to go like sit on my computer for an hour or whatever. Exactly. A couple hours and play games, but if I was just in the living room with people, and yep. play, I mean, it's that's... it's perfect for that. Good job. We did it. Oh, it got twilight all of a sudden. No, oh, God. Spooky. Do, 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 do. There's always a crazy spring level. Um, go back. I never noticed that. That design looks like SS logo from the Nazis. Oh. Have uh, you have you ever seen the SS logo? Probably. It's an awful lot of them though. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It does look like that. Well, I think it's like it's kind of a stretch. A stretch? That's what the logo is. <laughs> well, but the shape is like the, these are three. Okay, two it's angles. a little more squashed. Those Fine. Are definitely I squashed. know that's not what they were going for. Thankfully. So this is the level I think that I um I always had trouble getting past because I thought that I had to like squash this down and get past it or something. Things like that. Um, so we'll see. This music is really very, annoying. very creepy. I, I think, yeah, I think this was the, the level I couldn't get past. We'll see. If, we'll see if it was just my stupid childish brain. Uh, but we'll have to see that next, next time. Well, hold on. On I the hold on a second, I, I have, have to, to do a thing really quick before we end. Switch over to the computer to stop the stream. Spikes. But you can still play on the CRT while Spikes. I'm switching over. How crazy! Spikes! Uh, so yeah, now... <laughs> tagline on the tagline! <laughs> next time on the next time!